our new technique using our Color Lab paint system. Um, so today we're not going to make um, some mists. We're just going to do a little bit of painting, and I'm going to use some glossy Mod Podge and some water, and then the Color Lab paint system. And I wanted to show you really quick three new um, sparkling pigments. So last week we had four new sparkling pigments I shared with you, and that one, those were um, Vintage Rose, Spun Sugar, Mermaid Green, and French Lace. This week we have three new colors, and it they are um, Hot Rod, Purplicious, and Chocolate Truffle. So um, these three are really, really cool because Unlike our other pigments, if you mix these pigments with some of our um, paints, our Color Lab paints, the glimmer can change and end up looking like a different color glimmer. But these three are true colors, so no matter what, the glimmer is always going to be that blue or always that purple or that chocolate bronze color. Um, so we, I'm not going to use these three new colors for this project today, but I will show you what they look like um, a, a little bit later in the video. I'm just going to paint this embossed card. It's just... Um, I believe this is watercolor paper. Yeah, it is watercolor paper, and that's what it looks like. It's nice and embossed. So I'm going to paint it. I'm going to do um, a multi-tone effect with this using some water and some Mod Podge. So I've got my Mod Podge here, and I'm going to start by dipping my brush into the glossy Mod Podge. And the first color I'm going to do is Spun Sugar. So I'm going to get quite a bit on there. And I'm going to start off in this corner. I'm just going to brush it on. I'm going to keep going back for some Mod Podge to spread it out. And this is going to be really, really subtle, milky pink with a pink glimmer. I'm going to grab some more. It looks really pretty. And it goes on. So what happens is the color starts to build up in the low points of the embossing. And I just added a little bit of water to my brush just now, if you saw. Now I'm just adding dry pigment. I'm not going back for any medium or any water. Oops, I got a little too much that time. That's okay, the more the merrier, right? And then I'm going to go in for some water and kind of spread it out a little bit. I got a little too much on here, but that's okay. It's never really too much, is it? I'm going to get some more water just to thin it out. So when you go back for the water, the water is kind of what thins it out and pushes it into the low points of the embossing. Get some water down here. All right, so now I'm going to go in with another color. And I'm going to use the green, the mermaid green. And I'm going to come in from down here this time. some water to kind of blend it in a little bit. Get a little bit more green to make it a little bit more concentrated down here. All right, and then I'm going to get some more Mod Podge and I'm going to grab some of the French lace. I'm going to get it in the middle. This one's really pretty. It's so subtle. It doesn't have any color to it, so it's just the shimmer. And then I'm going to grab some of the gold right here. Get some gold in there. A little more gold. More Mod Podge. So now I'm basically coating the whole thing with the Mod Podge and I'll add more colors. Right now I'm going to get the Vintage Rose. I'm going to get some more of that just dry this time. And some water just to help blend it a little bit more. I 
moved it towards the green a little bit. And I'm going to do a little bit more mermaid green down in here. I don't want a whole lot of the green, but I do want there to be some green in here. I think it's pretty. I'm going to add some gold into this little corner. Alright, and a little bit more gold up in here. And some Mod Podge. Alright, so now I'm just spreading Mod Podge over the whole thing. And this is an Anna Griffin embossing folder that I use on the watercolor paper, in case you're wondering. Alright, I'm going to rinse my brush a little bit. And now I'm going to use, I'm actually going to use some of the color pigments. So the first color I'm going to dip into is the magenta, and I'm just going to get the teeniest, teeniest amount um, because it doesn't take a lot for this. So see, my brush only has a little teensy bit on there. And I'm going to come in, oh, let's come in from this side. So you can see just that little amount really gave me a really, really, really bright color. And I'm going to go and grab a teeny bit of red. And some more Mod Podge. some water. I just want to give it a little bit more pop in this area. And I just added some gold. And then now I'm going to grab the tiniest bit of cyan to make this a little bluey purple. Just a, oh, that's a little too much. So this is going to tone it down just a little bit. Let me get rid of this shadow so you can kind of see what's going on. I'll just grab some more blue from there. So I'm just trying to get a little bit of a purple kind of color. And then I'm going to go in and get some more of that rose shimmer to go over the top. Some of that French lace again. So kind of a dusty color in that corner. Not too bad. Kind of wish I wouldn't have done the blue, but that's okay. And then up in the this corner here, I'm going to go right back in with some more sponge sugar and Mod Podge, just to make it a little bit thicker and catch those high points one more time. So a nice coat. And then now I'm going to go in dry. Oh, I got a little too much on my brush there. So you can see that you can really make some really beautiful glazes with these. And I'm just going to make a little bit more gold in this area. This would make a really fun tag or card piece or even some kind of ornament. It's pretty shabby. Alright, now I'm just coating the whole thing with Mod Podge again. And this is glossy Mod Podge, but because I'm using water pa watercolor paper, um, it's going to soak up most of this Mod Podge, so you're not really going to see too much shine or glossiness like you normally would from Mod Podge. I'm just adding some French lace. Just with some of these little areas here. Using quite a bit of glimmer. It's really pretty though. I like it. Alright, so hopefully you could see this, but you can still have a lot of fun with those glimmers. And they turn out really pretty. Look at that. So wouldn't that be fun on a card or some kind of ornament? Um, and you could still use the pigment dyes, just keep in mind that they're going to be really, really bright. So I want to show you the new pigments and what they look like. I'm going to grab some paper leaves so you can see that just how rich the color is on, on these new ones. 
maybe I'll even make, maybe I will make a color of, of mist so you can see these in mist, mist action. So I'm dipping into some Mod Podge and I'm going to show you um, the, let's do the brown, the chocolate truffle color. So this is just with the Mod Podge. And I'm going to dry it a little bit for you so you can see it a little bit better when it's dry. All right. So you can kind of see it's like a really dark brownish color, but it's real pretty. And it's really pretty when you mix it with purple. So this is it mixed with a little bit of purple. Um, and let's see, so I've got, um, oh, this one's cookie. Let me see if I've got a plain mist over here. Okay, so this is just a blue mist. I'm going to add the purple to it just to see what happens. So this is purplicious. I'm going to do four scoops. So this should be like a have a purple glimmer with a blue. I don't know if you can really see the colors swirling in there already. It's really pretty. And the, those these three new pigments will be ready. Will be shipping next week, so they're not on the site yet, but they will be soon. Get the old color out. Oops. Sorry, I had a little bit too much pressure in there in my bottle there. All right, so I'm going to spray this one, and then we'll dry it. So, if you, I don't know if you can see that really well, but it has that perfect purple glimmer. It's so cool. I love it. All right. And I'm going to show you what the brown or the chocolate truffle looks like. And I'm, this recipe in this bottle is called Cookie. So, it's in the recipe card in the kit. If you have a kit. And I'm going to skip this in. And if you want to see this live, we are demoing this at the Scrapbook Island in Los Gatos, California on Saturday. Um, it's pretty much... San Jose, California, but um, we'll be there demoing Saturday from 11 to about 3 or 4, so come see us. Garrett and I will be there, and you can come and get your kits. All right, so ooh, that one looks nice and chocolatey. Let me get a good size leaf here to show you this one. Get the old color out, because the old color didn't have glimmer. Oh no, I got some blue on my leaf. I'm, I'm pretty messy, so I always have pigments in my fingers. I'm sure you guys are a lot cleaner than I am when you're doing this kind of thing. All right. Ooh, this one is so pretty with that brown glimmer in there. Can you kind of see it? It really sparkles on there. So that was Cookie with the Chocolate Truffle Glimmer. And we'll do one more. Let's see if I've got one. A, one more that doesn't have glimmer in it. Shimmer. Oh, all these ones have shimmer in it. Well, this one ha is blue with a, um, the French Lace Shimmer. So I'm going to add the purple to it and just see what happens. It's always fun to experiment. And the color that's in this one is Monterey. That's also in your recipe card. I'm going to add four scoops of purple. I love, love experimenting with color. Um, so this one's going to end up looking really jewel toned, I suspect. So once again, this is Monterey. The color is Monterey from the recipe book. And it has four scoops of French lace, which is this one here, and 
Um, four scoops of Purplicious. Ooh, that's interesting. Let's see what it looks like. Get that old color out. Oh, that's really wild looking. I can't wait for you guys to see this one. Oh my goodness, this one is really cool. Who would have thought? So that's Monterey. Hopefully you can see that color really well. Look at all the purple on the edging. How awesome is that? So Monterey, French lace, and Purplicious. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see some of you this Saturday at Scrapbook Island in Los Gatos. If not, on um, next Thursday in Modesto at our Modesto store off 401 Bay. We'll be demoing Color Lab all day, or we have classes actually. Our journal.